okay, well, you know, they could just get right back over 2850 in the next three or so minutes. But look what happened 30 minutes or so after, right? So that's where I say when a big volume level gets filled, we're very likely ready to see a big result from it. So with that, we ended up seeing a pop and drop, came right back down, rebroke that support off 2818, broke down below support off of 28 later on after that, and it was a complete drop off. I wish I personally could say I jumped in from the from the uh, 2818 level myself. Uh, I think on this trade I went long, then I went short. I waited for this to break back over 28 first. I actually took a long right from 28.02. I remember that entry. But once it re-snapped under 28, I was out. And then actually, shortly after, I went back in on the short side here. I don't want to say I, I chased it as much, but I took it a, the entry a little bit underneath 28. My entry point was at 27.93 or 27.92 after. So I took a really tiny loss on the long because I realized it just broke right back under 28. And with it re-breaking 28 and the selling that came in to begin, I was led to believe that we're ultimately going to see continuation later on. That's what we got. So I ended up jumping in short from 27.92. I remember I closed my short out. It was at like 27.65 or so. Uh, I didn't take it all the way down to 27.50, which obviously in hindsight I could have. Um, I just took the money and ran right from here, basically. So I avoided this pop back up and drop back down, but, you know, in and out. All right. Uh, from there, though, right, and this is where I want to jump to some trades that some students took. So, you know, I had a student jump in and out of NEO a few times. This was more after the